Hey guys, welcome to Freebie Fit MTRW. For today's workout, we will be doing a circuit, circuit, circus. We'll be doing a circus, a circuit as usual, and you will need a kettlebell. Um, this is a, this is my snatch size kettlebell, about thirty six pounds or twenty four kilos. Is it twenty four kilos? No, hold on. This is thirty five pounds. Yes, it's twenty twenty four kilos based on your weight. Uh, we'll be starting with a, a kettlebell swing. The next one will be pop-up squats, and the um, last exercise will be the curry patty. I'm sure there's a different name for it, but that's how I call it because it, that's just what it reminds me of. Anyway, for the kettlebell um, swing, what you want or is your hips, are, your feet are slightly wider than the shoulder width, and the kettlebell is placed in front of you. So when you bend down, you actually have to reach close. So you see, I'm a little bit too close, and if I walk backwards, I'm gonna fall over. So let's move it over. So I'm right here, and don't move it like that. You come close, you use two hands, and you shift it over. I'm being lazy. I don't know. I usually work hard in the morning, so today is an evening. I didn't have been sleeping well, but in any case. So at this point, you hinge at the hips, so you're hinging right here, glutes are active, core is working. You kind of reach for it. At this point, shift your weight back and you can see that the kettlebell is coming up, swing it back. Gaze at the horizon. And you can see that the moment my hips extend, that's when the bell goes up. What you don't want is, you don't want to move it with your arms, and you don't want to move it in your back. There shouldn't be any feeling in your back. For the second exercise, so this is how you properly move the kettlebell. Bend down, take your hands, squat down, put it there. For the pop-ups, what you want is, you want to sit in the squat position. From here, you're going to shift your weight back, jump back with your toes, and come up. This is how it looks on the side. Shift down, you jump back, elbows are bent, knees bent, Oof. and then come in. What you want is shoulders and hips Hips shouldn't be up and they shouldn't be down. They're really in the same parallel, so the shins are parallel to the floor. Just like a, um, it's like a squatting push-up. I don't really know how way to explain it, but you want your legs, the shins parallel to the floor, parallel, parallel to your back. All straight, one line. For our last exercise, it's a crabby patty. What you want is feet flat on the floor, hands out. You might put them out slightly a little bit, but not too much. You don't want to torture the shoulders. So you'll come in. Oh, that's a different one. So that's the Krabby Patty. You want to touch, you want to press through the heel to bring the hip up. Touch the toe and then come in. And that will be it for today. You will do 25 kettlebell swings, uh, 50 pop-up squats, and um, 25 Krabby Patties. And for the Krabby Patties, left, right, one, left, right, two. And so you want to make it equal. And um, MRAP, 15 minutes. Let me know how you did. You can put the scores in the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Free to Be Fit channel to get your latest MTRWs and six-pack ab meals and the pile of yoga workouts. Ciao!
I'm tired. Uh, eight. Uh, 28. Oh. Yes. 22 more. Oh, everything's burning. Until next time, free be fed. Uh.